Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video I'm going to explain to you all about how to answer the tricky joint action question. Now this is the one that often comes up that's talking about eccentric and concentric contractions but it's also talking about joint actions and muscles so there's a lot to take in and I'm going to break it down for you. This is the classic question that we're talking about. Which action is caused by an eccentric contraction of the pectoralis major? So don't look at the answers yet, just look at the question. Now, the first thing to pick out is to pick out some key words in particular. Now these key words, first of all, you've got eccentric contraction. So you need to know about eccentric contraction. You also need to know about joint actions and you need to know what the pectoralis major will do as a muscle. So there's three areas you need to be aware of. Joint actions, eccentric contraction, and what the pec major is and what it does. So first thing to think about is eccentric contraction. Now, there are two different types of contraction, well, there's actually three, but three, two different types of contraction that we want to consider for this. E means that it's elongating, the muscle is getting longer, so eccentric means the muscle is getting longer whilst contracting. Concentric means that the muscle is getting shorter whilst contracting. So that's what this question is asking you. So let's reread it. Which action is caused by, or which action is caused when the pec major gets longer? That's what you need to think about, which action is caused when the pec major gets longer. So you need to reword the question to then make sense. The question. Now we know that it's about the pec major getting longer. So you know the pec major is here, that's on your chest, and you know the action of that, if you think about a pec fly when you use it the most, you're going in and out to the side. So you're kind of going from a T shape where your arms are out to the side and bringing it back in. Now what point does the muscle get shorter and longer? It's getting shorter when you go from a T-shape to bringing it in front, and it's gonna get longer when you go from bringing it in front out to a T-shape. So all we need to know is what that action is called, and we need to know the action for the one where it's going from in front out to the side. So we've got a couple of different suggestions on this question itself. The joint actions that this mock question suggests, one is shoulder flexion, so B is horizontal shoulder extension, C is horizontal shoulder flexion, and D is spinal flexion. Oh. So the first thing you need to do is whittle out any that you know it can't be. So we're going to say it's definitely not spinal flexion based on we know that the pecs are to do with the shoulder. Okay, so then you go, oh, well, what is shoulder flexion and what is horizontal shoulder flexion extension? So let's have a look at those. Flexion is where you go from having your hands down by your side and you lift it past sort of a frontal raised position all the way overhead. This is shoulder flexion. So is this the action that we were talking about earlier where you're going from down by your side all the way up over the top? No, not the, not the one we were talking about. So we now think it's not shoulder flexion, which means it's between shoulder flexion, uh, sh horizontal shoulder extension and horizontal shoulder flexion. So, what we know about flexion is that it pulls us into a fetal position. So everything in fetal, we're in this position here, this flexed position. All of our joints are flexed when we're in a fetal position. When we're in extension, all of our joints are elongated, like when we're standing in a nice neutral position. So, let's now take what we're talking about this position here, when we're talking about this movement that the pec makes, like a pec fly. So, a horizontal, horizontal shoulder extension is going to be out to the side like a t-shape that's extension so flexion is going to be bringing it back in so it's close to the body here now think in this position is the pec short or long short in this position is the pec short or long long so this is the horizontal shoulder extension this is horizontal shoulder flexion so the way of breaking it down is that you know that the pec is longer in horizontal shoulder extension, which answers that question. So let's go and have a look at the question again. So we're wrapping things up now. So which action is caused by an eccentric contraction of the pec major? So remember this is about when the muscle is at its longest. 
So when that pep major is lengthening, what is happening? Now, we've got these options down here. We said it's going to be between shoulder horizontal shoulder extension and horizontal shoulder flexion. The answer is B, horizontal shoulder extension. Because in extension, you're lifting your arms out to the side to that T-shape that we were talking about. And that's horizontal shoulder extension. And in that position, your pec major is elongated, which remember is what we're talking about, eccentric contractions. So this is a very complicated question you are likely to get something along these lines whether it will be about pet major obviously that is down to whatever turns up on the exam and also look out for the fact that whether it says concentric or eccentric remember c is collapsing so concentric it's collapsing it's getting shorter eccentric is going to be it getting longer or elongating and then it's just down to knowing those joint actions and knowing what the muscle does as well I hope this was really helpful. If you do want to grab any more mock questions, we have 101 that I'll put with this video that you can download. So click the link and you'll be able to download 101 more lovely questions like this. Um, also, if you like this video, please do hit the like button, subscribe and share with your friends. Also, any comments you can put below about how you found this helpful for your revision, that would be really great. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.